Ann Arbor Public Schools is not opening its doors today. It was forced to close five buildings and delay the first day back to school because of damages caused by last week's storm. Forsyth and Wine schools were hit the hardest. Yeah, the district says safety, safely reopening those schools really presents a greater challenge. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is live outside of Forsyth in Ann Arbor. And Peter, what are the next steps as kids try to get back to the classroom? Well, I want to show the folks at home this right here. This is why Forsyth Middle School is not opening today. It's because of this down power line and some of the damage surrounding the middle school uh, as well. This down power line actually goes all the way down to that end barrier, all the way down at the end of the street. And there is good news. Well, there is power here, but these lines right across the street from us, which we're a safe distance away from, are still live. Now, other schools are also still closed or and have delayed their first day of school due to the storm damage and those are here on high school lakewood elementary and thurston elementary and there is a long list of steps that need to be taken in order for these schools well to reopen safely and that is a re uh, re resetting the building fire suppression system, uh, cleared the down trees and down power lines, and also to secure and replace some of the food for the meal service in the school. Now, there was a press release that was sent out by Ann Arbor Public Schools, and it reads in part, quote, the storm damage in the area around Forsyth and Wines is more significant than at other than at other locations and safely reopening those schools presents a greater challenge. We commit to continuing to work diligently to bring these two schools back online as quickly as possible and we'll share an update on their status later in the day on Monday. And of course, we will be staying on top of the story and we'll be letting parents know who do send their kids to uh, these two schools that are still closed and the other schools that are will also close. We will give you an update uh, later on today. So stay with us here on 7 Action News and WXYZ.com. Reporting in Ann Arbor, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Yeah, well